Okay, I want to show you how to use Photoshop to add different pieces of text to different parts of an animated GIF. Um, there's a lot of half answers and plain wrong answers out there on the internet, so I want to make a quick video to show you how to do this. I'm also going to show you how to create an animated GIF in Photoshop, so if you already know how to do that, just uh, click forward to the part where I start adding the text objects. If you have an AVI or movie file and you want to create an animated GIF in Photoshop, you just go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. I've got an MOV, a short clip that I'm going to use. I would go with the defaults on this. So let's say we want to add some text to the first half of this GIF and some different text to the second half or so. So let's, let's worry about the first half first. So if we want some text to appear roughly on the first half of this GIF, notice that this ended up making about 140 layers. So if I want that text to be on the first half, the important first step is to go to the middle, one of these layers here, and then add your first portion of text. All right, that's an important step. So let's go roughly to the middle somewhere, and then let's use the text tool and add some text. Uh, this text may not be totally neat or exactly how I want it to look, but I just want to do this fairly quickly for the video. Alright, so we've added the first piece of text. And again, just to show you how to do this, um, what I want to do is add some more text, different text, to go on this roughly the second half of this GIF. So I'm going to hit the Move tool just to get out of this text tool mode. So if I want the second half to have some different text, what I'm going to do is scroll up. You can scroll to the very end or one of those last few layers and then do the same thing we did before. I'm going to place this just above and then once I have what I want in it, I'll just move it down. Again, these aren't going to be totally perfect. Alright, so I have that second text box towards the end of my uh, GIF. Now I'm going to try to move that down. So I'm just going to use the Move tool, grab that second piece of text, move it down. Looks like it's overlapping. Don't worry about that. But what's going to happen if we do this or save this is this second one is going to be on the entire GIF. So the first one's going to be on the first 60 some layers. The second one's going to be on the entire 140 some layers. So the next step is removing this second bit of text from that first half. As far as I know, you can only do this from the timeline. So I'm going to go up to Window and make my timeline visible. And then it's just a matter of selecting the frames that you don't want that second block of text to appear on. The first block is already kind of taken care of. It's just going to appear on everything up to frame 67 or so. So the second block, what I'm going to do from my timeline, I'm going to click the first layer, and then I'm going to scroll over to roughly the middle, and hold down Shift, and click one of those layers. So what I've just done is I've selected layer 1 through 71. Then over here in my layers, I'm going to unhide uh, that, so to speak. I'm going to click that so that now that first bit will appear on the first half and the second bit will show up I guess on layer 72 and all the way toward, towards the end. So if you had a good video card, unfortunately I don't, you could hit your little play down here and preview that. 
um, but real quickly I want to show you how to save this and then I want to show you the end result so to save an, uh, to save this as an animated GIF you want to go to file export save for web and then you're just going to hit save and uh, you're also going to possibly choose one option when you save it. Okay, when you save some web, there's some options you can set, but I'm not going to go into that. But when you hit save here, one option you might want to check for, you can give your GIF a name, but sometimes it might try to save HTML in images. You really don't want that, you just want images only. So when you save, make sure you choose that. I want to show you what the roughly the end result of what I just did would be. Here's a GIF. I did the exact same thing earlier and created it. If I open it in some kind of browser, notice it has some text there and then some different text towards the second half. So some tutorials will show you uh, just one piece of text across the whole GIF, which isn't helpful if you're trying to do some different text and some different timings. Let me just review what I did real quick. Hopefully it'll make sense. So I added that first text layer, but what made it appear from the beginning up to about halfway through was me placing it here, right? So that took care of itself. The second layer, if we want it to appear on the second half, we have to put it somewhere towards the end but that would make it appear all the way from the beginning up to that layer. So to remove that, remember what we did is we used the timeline, selected the ones that we didn't want this to appear on by clicking, holding shift, clicking, and then unchecking that eye. That's all there is to it. Um, I want to show you one that's a little more complicated, maybe with three pieces of text, just to show you how that would be done. Um, but really the technique I just showed you, you could apply it to two, three, four pieces of text, you know, however you want. I want to show you three just, uh, just so we can see if it's a little more complicated or not. So I'm going to import a different movie file real quick. So this would really could be done with maybe two pieces of text, but I just want to show you three um, and how we would adjust things that go just in line with what we've already done. So this has some dialogue in it. Um, again, this one looks to be about 150 layers. I don't know the timings. We could, we could play with the timings a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and add some text. Let's do something about a third of the way through this time. So I'm going to go about a third of the way in my layers over here. Click one of those layers before you click the text tool. Let's add some text. out of it by hitting the move tool maybe. So again the idea here this will appear on the first 40 some layers maybe I want something to go um, after that for a few layers or maybe several. So I'll go up here maybe to layer 71 add some additional text or separate text And again, I, I don't know if there's a better way to move these around, but I'm just going to click the Move tool once I've added it, drop that right on top. And this time I'm going to add a third piece of text that will appear in a, th a different place. So I'm going to go similar to what I did before, go to the end, click one of those layers, 
add one more piece of text real quick and then we'll have to clean it up just like we did before. I've added that. I'm going to move that down as well. So the first text takes care of itself like, uh, like before, but after that we have to do what we did before. So let's find those layers. First one went up to layer 47. The second piece didn't appear till layer 71. So what I might do is go to layer 48, 49, somewhere around there, click that, hold down shift, go to maybe layer 68. Again, you can adjust those as you wish. So I've selected that portion that I want it to. Sorry, I psyched myself out there. I want it to not appear, so I want to do just what I did before. Click layer 1, go all the way to layer uh, 40 something, maybe 48, 49, somewhere around there. So I'm going to click layer 1 in the timeline. Hold down shift. Now find that second text and make sure it basically doesn't appear on those first 40 some layers. So it should appear from layer 50 up to layer 71. Shouldn't appear after that because that's where we put it. So now that last block, I basically want it to stop. Or, you know, don't show before layer 71 or so. So for the last block, what I'm going to do is select layer 1. Hold down shift. Maybe go to layer 76. And uncheck the eye there. And again, if we preview this, now what I've basically done was create three pieces of text on three different parts of the GIF. Um, one other thing you may want to do, so around layer 40 something, we have our first piece of text. If you didn't want that to show up right away as soon as the GIF runs, you could do the same kind of thing we did before. You could go back, say select layer 1, um, maybe select the first four or five layers, uncheck that, and that will have the similar effect of, okay, it'll, it will start on layer 5 and go to layer 47, if that makes sense.